So thank you again for the invitation to the committee. And uh, so we are talking about the auto deformity. Auto deformity has, we know, has consequent disability. We can assist to a loss of balance, maybe coronal, maybe sagittal, and we have to deal with pain, nerve compression. So for a given patient, one or some of these problems could be prevalent. So, the indications are the most important. What are you trying to accomplish? Do you want to use MIS? Do you want to do indirect decompression? Do you want to fuse? Do you want to, to reach a segment alignment, global alignment? Do you want to correct your deformity? A lot of questions in, in our mind. So, I like this paper of nine years ago, but still very actual. So, this uh, Fernando Silva and Larry Lenke, Adult Degenerative Scoliosis, Evaluation and Management, that uh, they have stated uh, six levels of operative treatment. Of course, the complication rates comes from a minimum when you, you perform only a decompression, and step by step, you go until the best, the worst, I, I, I mean, uh, type of complication that you can have when you do an osteotomy, but we have to deal with the rigid spine glo with global imbalance. So, of course, we can we can have a lot of a different situation w when we have to deal. So, we know from literature that the factors that are related to disability are now uh, they are very well studied, and they are this: SVA more than five centimeters. The mismatch between uh, pelvic index and lumbar lordosis more than 10 degrees, thoracic pelvic angle more than 20 degrees, and pelvic tilt more than 25. So these are related to a bad quality of life. So if you look at a patient like this where all of these uh, factors are very bad, of course you can have a good realignment of the spine, but you have to do a asymmetric PSO in M3, free thoracic SPO, and you gain these this good results. The clinical shape change, but three days of ICU, severe blood loss, three liters, 15 days of hospital, and long time for recovery, one year for returning to full activity. Of course, we have an increased cost for the community. And if you look in literature, the complication of free colon osteotomy, they are so high, roughly sometimes they are close to 90%. So, when we can, we have to think to do something minimal invasive in adult spinal deformity. But if we look at the literature, this is very recent, the data, the results of this study, that MIS deformity correction is largely based on surgeon experience, which is very, very important, in my opinion. We have here Michael Wang. He has written this book with other authors. He has suggested an algorithm for the decisions making. I want to show you three different cases of resolution. Look at these patients, 71 years old, VAS of a lumbar is nine, of a leg and nine, ODI 55, SF, SF, F36, 20, 31. She has no bad, you see, coron, uh, sagittal balance is quite imperfect. She has a, a mild scoliosis, 35. If you look at V6 ray, you don't see any subluxation. This is very important in the decisions making. What are you planned for these patients? I have a plan to do a three levels uh, X lift, one hour of operation. This is during surgery. I have uh, obtained these results. Of course, the balance of the sagittal was quite the same as before, but we have corrected the, 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 the deformity in the coronal plane. And one, month, one uh, year later, she has perfect balance on the coronal and sagittal, and she has full activity recovery very soon. On the other hand, we have another case, 
a female of 54 years old, she has a de novo scoliosis. De novo scoliosis is different from the degenerative classic coming from AB2. You see here, these patients have a subluxation and free 4 This is a kyphotic deformity. This is our, the, the data of, uh, of a sagittal banner. So for this case, uh, you can do a minimal invasive again. You can study the, 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 the patients in the lateral, in the bending fields. And again, you can do a, a lateral approach, but you have to fix with a percutaneous skill solution to increase stability and to, to increase the correction of the balance. So, step by step, you see on, 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 uh, on the table, I go back, when you, when the patient slides, I approach usually always uh, from the, the concave side, so it's better, you, you can better manage the deformity. Sorry. And now, finally, you get this solution, this is a, I, I like this, this shape of the of of key wires of initinol uh, before insertion of the screws. This is an insertion of the screws, uh, step by step. And finally, we have this solution. So three levels of x leaf and percutaneous screws. Look at the good restoration of the lordosis. And this is one year after surgery with uh, a, good, uh, a good recovery of the pain, of course. On the other hand, a 81 years old man completing unbalance in the, in the sagittal plane. What do you do here? You can do many things. Here, I have adopted to use a lateral approach again, but usually the hyperlordotic cage, ACR, this is a, a paper of a Becker, of Akbarnia, is a, a very important surgeon, American surgeon. And we have done the cutting of ACL, uh, ALL, you see here. This is very important. In, for, in these cases, when you do this, step by step, sorry, you can go here, you can insert the hyperlordotic cage, you gain a quite uh, between 20 and 30 degrees uh, each level. Finally, you see step by step, and you you go to increase also the I, uh, L5S1 uh, with a uh, uh, hyper cage uh, coming from the back. And finally, we have these results: good result, good uh, recovery of uh, of the um, lordotic. I use always, uh, when I use this, uh, 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 this is an hybrid solution with an open surgery, of course, a double um, four rods for increasing stability, for increasing fusion rate. And finally, you can reach this, this result. So there are so many solutions to deal. So the conclusion are that always think that when you have to think to this kind of, of patients, there is no a good book recipe. You have to customize to the patient expectation and the medical morbidity of the patient. Always think to ensure the neural decompression when you can use direct or indirect. The procedure instrumentation fusion improves the deformity correction and reduces the subsidence. You remember that the morbidity is higher when you, you use an open fixation. Lateral x leaf or lateral Interbody fusion is an effective strategy when the anterior interbody support is desired. Thank you.